Hello everybody, I've got a very short window to record, so let's keep this as brief as my... As, as, as me in bed. Um, we've got a patch today, which I was not expecting, but um, I might be expecting it. Anyway, long and short of it is, this patch includes primarily um, changes and nerfs to the core stone event, and by proxy the core spawn themselves, to make them easier to fight, especially on high hazards. Um, so let's just get into it, blitz through the notes themselves, and I'll give you some thoughts at the end, I think, is the way we're going to do it. So this is, of course, Season 5, patch number 6. Hello, miners. Due to the amount of feedback we got regarding the core stone event, we've tweaked the encounter overall decreasing the difficulty, especially on higher hazards. We also included a few other fixes. I mean, that's kind of debatable, almost. Um, so here are the patch notes themselves. Crawler tweaks. Reduce movement speed by 10%. Probably going to be the most noticeable thing, um, because they're fast, and even 10% is going to be noticeable. Made it so that the corrosive death puddles no longer fly outward towards the player, but instead drop where the crawler is killed. Now, I didn't even know they did fly out towards the player, like, at all. I, I didn't know that was a thing. That's not what I've noticed, but... Even if I haven't, this will probably still help make things easier. Um, and I would say those are the two main difficulty nerfs, really. But, but they also fixed crawler armor to work like all other heavy armor in the game, which makes more sense. I don't know if that means we'll actually be able to break crawler armor off. It might mean that. And that would be weird, because that might make them look different. I don't know if that's the case, though. Um, but I didn't even know they really had armor. I just thought they were just kind of tanky. And... I will have to basically have experience with this to actually know if it's a nerf or a buff. I doubt it's a buff, because clearly the point of this patch is to make the event easier. Um, but I'm not 100% sure either way. I would assume it's going to be closer to a nerf or more just a consistency fix of some kind. Anyway, so aside from that, they changed a bunch of textures so they would not look bad if they would not loaded fast enough. I don't know, I can't think of any specific examples. I haven't really noticed any fidelity issues um, with my version of the game in like a year probably maybe even longer um but still good various audio tweaks and added photosensitivity mode to the animated static material used on startup and info screens great work <laughs> i feel it's going to benefit photosensitive people so yeah that was season five patch number six um i think nerfing the core stone event was definitely a necessary course of action i don't think the feedback has really relented on that front um it's still clearly something that people have trouble with so i think it was wise to fix it um, or rather just nerf it in general. I really hope this means we could see core spawn in some other way. I would love to see core spawn swarms, like genuinely, um, that you'd be able to encounter, of course, in Mine Expedition and On-Site Refining and um, Deep Scan, which is where you can get special swarm types. I think that'd be really cool. Um, also, I just want to point out the fact that I think it's interesting. First of all, it's cool to keep that we get... Um, we seem to be getting patches that actually make... Very limited in number, but still um, impactful changes on a like noticeable um, at a noticeable frequency, and they also do seem to line up with events, holiday events. Of course, this is right after the Halloween event was announced. The previous patch was um, right before the uh, Oktoberfest was announced. I do want to know. Um, maybe this is actually a real thing now, where they do actually line patches up with events just as a way to. You know, the events do make them focus on the game just for a little bit, just for a couple of days, as far as we know. And to take that time to briefly look over certain feedback and make possible impactful tweaks and changes makes perfect sense. And we've had sort of two instances of it now, so I do wonder if it's actually a real thing. Um, if there's any way that could be confirmed from someone, that could be cool. Anders, I don't know if you're watching. Um, but yeah, um, at the moment, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how things are. Of course, we've got an On the Horizon stream coming up soon in November. We'll see how that goes, but we know it's going to focus on Rogue Core at least a little bit. So that should be interesting. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow for the next Overclock Showcase. We'll see you on Friday for a stream and then on Saturday for something else. Not sure where it's going to be yet. Either way, thanks always for watching. If you enjoyed this or found this useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this and you want to stay on top of everything to do Deep Rock and Rogue Core, then make sure to hit the bell as well. See you soon.